Hi, Gemini. Welcome to you. Okay. All right. Well, I'm going to go ahead and cut the cards. Nothing really kind of seemed to jump out there. Gemini. See what comes up. Well, we have the Three of Wands. I'm going to put that there. And then I'm going to make sure that you can see the Ten of Wands, the Chariot in the Challenge position, the Nine of Swords. I think this came up for Cancer. The Nine of Swords. It could be wrong. Maybe it was Scorpio. I think it was a water sign. And the Page of Cups. Okay. Let's see what's underneath. The High Priestess. So, I feel... Okay, let me move this forward. Cancer, Sagittarius... Pisces and Virgo, those are the signs that are very much standing out for me. Uh, we have the Three of Wands here, and the Three to me represents growth, expansion. Some of you are definitely looking to the future. I think that some of you may even be traveling. Now, if you are traveling, um, make sure that everything is up to... Uh, date in terms of like driver's license, passports. Um, there may be, I just get that there could be something that is expired or we don't want any delays in traveling, especially with the chariot being in my challenge position. Some of you, I think, have a major decision to make uh, mid-July and uh, through the end of July. And I think some of it is where are you headed? What direction are you wanting to go in? Now, I'm getting, because I picked up marriage, this is also a separation card for me in my personal readings. So it's kind of a push and pull. Some of you may be taking on a lot. It may even be back-breaking work. And some of you, it's it's kind of like you're lacking support, whether you're having difficulties asking for support or there are people around you that you just feel aren't supporting you. And it's leading to some stress here and possibility of anxiety or worried or... Um, uh, some self-doubt, but remember these swords are usually these thoughts that keep recurring over and over. It's usually feels much worse than what it actually is. So be careful of self-doubt or negative thinking because something beautiful is going to be coming in or is going to be offered here. It can be a message um, or a new beginning of something. This can also represent children. There may be news of a pregnancy, uh, something that is a surprise, like somebody didn't know and you find out. Now, this may not be you. This may be um, a friend, a coworker. Um, uh, you know, a, a relative, somebody close to you. But, you know, with the chariot here in my challenge position and also the high priestess, balance is going to be important. Uh, listen to your intuition. If something feels off, just don't second guess or doubt yourself. With the chariot here, I... I'm getting like there may be a situation where uh, you may be taking on too much at once. So do one thing at a time because you might be pulled in two different directions. And this can be in love, especially with the number three here and with my separation card. It's kind of like hanging on, letting go, hanging on like there's... Um, difficulty in letting somebody go out of your life or maybe somebody is having difficulty in letting you go out of their life 
But uh, I do feel that somebody is struggling with the past. Uh, what I'm getting from that is this might even be a, a child or a grandchild um, or it could be you, some inner child work or I'm being pulled to someone's childhood. So I feel that through faith and resilience, you will get through this by looking and examining at these issues or looking closer at these issues that will be very helpful and productive because we don't want to get stuck in a pattern where our our thoughts overtake the situation. And I feel like by going within, doing um, some introspection, kind of taking a step back, doing some observation, the high priestess is very intuitive, listening to your subconscious mind, paying attention to your dreams. There's going to be some kind of gift that is coming in or a message in your dreams or um, by delving deeper into that. But I am getting your past. I'm getting your childhood. There can be, again, somebody that's really having a hard time letting go of you or someone or something. And it can be that this person comes to you for help or assistance. And you may be offering them a gift, and the roles could be reversed, and somebody is offering you a gift. So, um, but childhood children, I think, are of some important message for somebody out there. So, there's something about going back to your past to set yourself free are free of burdens, carrying on too much, taking on too much. Um, also, I feel like it's important that you ask for assistance if that is needed, okay? And you will be rewarded in some way. Um, some of you have a decision, again, in love to make. And your heart may be saying one thing, your mind saying another, you're, you know, being pulled at your heartstrings. But um, whether or not you should stay in your situation or um, there's a choice in love to make. And with this number three, it could be, and the fact that I picked up on the number six, which is the lovers, it could be a third party situation. And I always like to say it doesn't mean infidelity or anything like that. It can also mean that somebody is interfering in a relationship. And it could be like family versus the one that you're with. And, you know, it's like, okay, what direction am I going in? Or do I choose family over this person? Um, it's going to be different for whom these messages even resonate with. So take care. Bye.